Let's look at structural isomerism in pentane. How many structural isomers are in the hydrocarbon pentane C5H12? Here's one of the structural isomers. How many more are there? Is there a total of three, five, or seven? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each of the answers. A, there are three unique ways to arrange the atoms. B, there are five carbons, so there should be five structural isomers. Or C, 12 hydrogen atoms minus five carbon atoms gives seven structural isomers. Think about those options and make a selection. We're talking about the structural isomers of pentane. Now, there's no neat way to go from the chemical formula, C5H12, to the number of isomers. You pretty much have to scratch them out on paper and rearrange the atoms and then count up the unique combinations. What I've done here is I've started with a straight carbon chain, the five carbons. I haven't drawn the hydrogens in. And you'll find that you don't really need to draw the hydrogens in these straight chain hydrocarbons to come up with the isomers. And you can prove that to yourself by adding the hydrogens to these kind of straight chains that I'm drawing. So here's one way to arrange the carbons in a straight chain. Another way to do it would be to have a branch in the chain. Now, if this branch is here or here, that's actually the same molecule. So what you have uh, if I move this carbon over here, but I flip the whole molecule over, it's the same molecule. So those are not two unique isomers. There's one more branch I can make in the chain. I can have a central carbon and four carbons attached to it. So this is a third way to arrange the carbon chain. There's no way to arrange the hydrogens among these that will make different isomers of these three. In fact, these three ways of arranging the pentane chain are the only three structural isomers of pentane. So for structural isomers of pentane, there are three.